In this lecture, we will discuss about the structure of sporozoid of Plasmodium vivax. Plasmodium vivax, it is a protozoan parasite which is responsible for causing the malaria in the human. This plasmodium lives in the liver cell and the RBC of man and salivary gland of female anaphylus mosquito. Female anaphylus mosquito is act as a vector of plasmodium. It transport the plasmodium from one person to the another person. When the female anaphylus mosquito, that is infected female anaphylus mosquito, bites a person that time, the infective stage of plasmodium, that is sporozoid, enters into the human blood. The electron microscopic structure of sporozoid is studied by Gernham, Bird and Baker in 1963, which reveal its very complex structure. This sporozoid is about 11 to 12 micron in length and 0.5 to 1 micron in width. As in this diagram, you can see that they are elongated, slightly swollen at the center and tapering at the both end. The central thicker part consists of the nucleus. They are uninucleated organism. The center of the nucleus consists of nucleolus. The sporozoid is covered with the firm and elastic pellicle which maintain the definite structure of the parasite. The pellicle consists of three layers. It containing the longitudinally arranged microtubule, which may be responsible for the gliding movement of the body. The anterior end of the sporozoid consists of cup-like depression called as apical cup, which is made up of three or more contractile rings. A pair of a long secretory paired organelle is open into the apical cup. This probably secret the proteolytic enzyme which facilitate the entry of sporozoid into the liver cell. The cytoplasm of sporozoid consists of single mitochondria, many convoluted tubules of unknown function and the Golgi bodies. Microbile is also present. So this is all about the electron microscopic structure of sporozoid of plasmodium vivax. Hope it will help you in your study. Thank you for watching.